Now, when you think of Cleveland area real estate, what city comes to mind? I hope it's Seven Hills because today we are going to be touring a property in that city. And this home has three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and it also comes in just over 1200 square feet. So you're gonna have more than enough room for a family because it has a finished basement as well. Now the neighborhood that this home is located in is just a quick drive from pretty much all the shopping you're ever gonna need. So if you ever need to grab a quick meal while you're on the road or you don't feel like cooking dinner, you have a bunch of different options to choose from. Now along with all the shopping, you're gonna have access to the West Creek Reservation and that is going to give you about the same drive time as it takes you to get to all the stores. And there you're gonna be able to kind of escape the suburban culture and just feel like you're getting away out into nature and just relax a little bit. Now, if you're not much of a nature person or a shopping person, you are also gonna have the quick opportunity to get on the highway, which will take you pretty much anywhere in the Cleveland area in less than 30 minutes. So with a quick commute, you're pretty much gonna have any access that you would want to all of Cleveland's nightlife, attractions, beaches, and so much more. My name's Sam Oler, and I'm your Cleveland area realtor. And if you ever need anything, I would love to help you accomplish your goals. You can find all my contact information down in the description, but I'm not gonna keep talking. Let's go check out this property that we're touring today. In this ranch, you are going to have a fresh renovation. They didn't do a whole lot on the outside because it didn't really need it besides a mulch bed, but on the inside, you enter into the living room with your freshly stained floors and new paint and trim throughout. They also put in recessed lighting, which gives it a nice modern feeling to where you don't have to have a chandelier hanging down to kind of give it light. It's pretty common for these houses of this era to not have any source of light they required you to use an outlet as your main source of light with a lamp, but this home is nice and convenient as far as that goes to where you can just walk in and flip a switch and not have to have a side table or anything special to turn on the lights. Now as we work our way further into the kitchen, you're greeted with brand new shaker cabinets and they look really good. They're a white color so it feels nice and modern and you have the subway tile backsplash in a herringbone pattern which you don't see people taking the time to do very often. Now it does have butcher block countertops and the backyard is absolutely massive. You have a ton of space for if you have animals that want to go run around back there. It's not fenced in so you are going to have to do that. But again, this is a great opportunity to start out and have the space for the animals. That is the hardest part to find. And then on the side of the house, you also have a nice half bath that was installed and they just use builder grade as far as the vanity and the toilet. Now these tile floors are porcelain tile and it gives it that wood look to where it feels like laminate, but it has the durability of porcelain and Speaking of durability, they used a butcher block countertop throughout here and these haven't really been around long enough to know how they stand the test of time. So I am curious to see how it holds up over the next 10 to 20 years. I don't think it's gonna be as good as granite obviously. So I think they should have done that, but it's not the end of the world because it's still a great option as far as countertops go. You just have to be a little bit more careful. Now, as we start to work our way downstairs, you have your carpeted basement, which has been freshly finished and beautifully staged you have the opportunity to get another dining area or maybe like a game area in the back there and you also have the sitting area over here so you can kind of make this your own and do whatever you want with it i would probably use it as another living space but i like the opportunity to use it as a home gym just because tracking your way all the way to the gym is kind of a pain in the butt just having it down in your basement makes it nice and easy now here's a little bit of a pan of this area and kind of the extra space. You've got more than enough room to put a big table in there if you wanted to kind of keep the game area set up that they have right now. But working our way further into the mechanical room, you have a large space that is open so you could put a ton of storage over there and it continues over around this corner and into this bathroom. And I forgot to turn on the lights so I'm gonna swing those on real quick and then back up and take another look but you've got a brand new bathroom with a really pretty vanity and it's got a ton of space to get ready if you were doing makeup or anything, a brand new toilet and shower, and it's just all around a really convenient thing to have in the basement so that way you don't have to run upstairs to get access to that. I really like that they used a black hardware. It's a little bit more expensive and a lot of the flippers in this area don't use it. They usually just use a silver, but this makes it look a lot more sleek in my opinion. Now moving our way back further into the mechanical room, you have a brand new hot water tank and then a 
furnace, but they also did brand new plumbing throughout from what I'm noticing. You got PVC everywhere. So they took the time and effort and did everything right, which is super nice. And then they tied some new pecs in over here for the laundry and your little utility sink. And then you also have your electrical panel. And now as we start to go around and take a look at the furnace, I think it's a little bit newer, but I don't know if it's brand new. So now we're gonna start working our way back upstairs to check out the bedroom area and the other bathroom that is up there. So I think this home is the perfect opportunity to have a turnkey property that you can just move into. There's not gonna be any work that needs done before you move in, and it's just gonna make it super easy for whoever buys this next. And I think they did a really good job. It's not like someone pieced this all together really quickly. They took the time and effort into actually putting in quality work. Now as we start to work our way further into this hallway across the living room, directly to the left, you are going to have your bathroom and they did a porcelain tile floor, which is really pretty. You don't see that too often. And then the undermount sink, which is a farmhouse style. I think it looks really nice. And then they just did a porcelain tile tub surround for the bathtub. Now up here, they didn't use the black hardware that they used downstairs. So I think it's kind of strange that they didn't have everything match, but teach their own, I guess. As we work our way further down that hallway, you're gonna go into your first bedroom and it's got the hardwood floor still, and it's just staged so that you got a bed and a little bit of a nightstand. It's not the biggest room in the world, but it does the trick. And directly across from that, you've got a room that is a little bit bigger, still with the hardwood floors flowing throughout, and you've got newer windows that are overlooking the back and side yard. So as we work our way through there, you've got your sliding doors for your closet, and then we're gonna work our way back across again. And this room is a little bit smaller than the last one we were in, but about the same size as the first one. And once again, you've got newer windows, and this one also has a sliding door for the closet. So working our way back through the front, you'll notice that they just repainted the doors. They did not replace them, so it's, an okay look, but I think I like newer ones better personally, but it's a cheap fix if you ever really wanted to do that. And here's another view of the area. So like I said, this one is super turnkey for whoever moves in. The appliances that are included are only the dishwasher and the microwave. I don't know why they didn't do the new stainless steel fridge or oven, but that's all right. I guess you don't have to worry about that. It's just part of owning a home and you can buy your custom ones that you want you don't have to be forced into a certain one. So if you made it this far into the video, I wanna say thank you. It shows that you might be looking to move to the Seven Hills area, and trust me, you can't go wrong with this area. If you are thinking about moving here or somewhere in the surrounding area, I invite you to reach out to me. All my contact information is down in the description below, or if it makes it a little bit easier for you, you can feel free to call or text me here. If you find yourself down in the description checking out my social media, or maybe my other YouTube channel. Before you go, click that like button because it's gonna help me out a ton. And with all that being said, I am going to leave the video here. I will catch you in the next one.